Hi everyone. Um, welcome to the guest image series brought to you by Upscale Talks. Um, so the essence of the series, um, as you might have already gone through a few of the lectures or the you know more guest image sessions before. So the essence is purely to give you know give you the entire virtually the experience how an actual interview is goes like. Um, so for today's session, uh, we again have Naman Naman amongst us. So Naman, uh, is currently placed at Fractal and is a subject matter expert at here at Upscale Talks. Um, so hi Naman. Um, can we move ahead with the guest image problem? Uh, yes, yeah, sure, Ajit. Perfect. Um. So, uh, Naman. Um. Uh. Can you note down the problem that um. I think um. For today's session, uh, we can have that. Um. I want you to calculate the number of visitors visiting hmm. Taj Mahal each and every day. Um. Is the problem statement clear to you? Uh. All right. So, uh, in order to see if I have uh, got the statement right, I have to estimate the number of people visiting Taj Mahal each day, right? Exactly. All right. So, I have a uh, few questions to ask to you. Uh, like, uh, f uh, so can I take a few seconds? To yeah, think sure. No, take questions? your time um, and come up with some questions if you have any. All right. So, do we have to consider all types of people, like uh, the foreigners and Indians as well? Um, yeah, I think the uh, by the visitors, I mean that all type of people who are trying trying to visit the uh, Taj Mahal to have a view or something like that. All right. And also, should we consider uh, only the travelers uh, that are visiting the Taj Mahal or the workers also? Because uh, according to me, uh, the visitors have to purchase the ticket, uh, but the staff that is present there won't have to do, do that. Um, I think um, we can consider the people who are actually buying a ticket to visit Taj Mahal. That is a fair enough approach, I think, to go ahead. All right. So or also, should I consider the current COVID situation or the normal situation? Um, I think um, if you are going to calculate for the current COVID situation, the problem could be uh, bec could could become a much uh, difficult for you. So I think you can go ahead with the normal scenario, and consider right. it to be a normal scenario. All right. So I just need a couple of minutes to uh, think of the uh, approach that I would like to move ahead with. Sure, sure, Naman. Take your time. All right. Um, so, Naman, are you ready with your approach now? Uh, yes. Uh, so, first of all, like, uh, I would like to categorize uh, the time zone uh, into three different categories. And, uh, like, uh, d depending upon the frequency of the people visiting in certain number of hours. And uh, then, based on the frequency of the people, I would like to calculate the number of uh, people or the ticket sold in that particular categories and then calculate the total number of uh, like tickets sold uh, that will be equal to the number of visitors visiting the Taj Mahal. So uh, is this approach seems fine and uh, should I go ahead with this? Um, yeah, I think you can go ahead with this and we can have the discussion later. Was this a better approach or not? All right. Uh, so. So first of all, I'm assuming the three main categories and uh, I think uh, uh, during a day, like uh, there will be typical around 10 uh, hours that will be working and uh, when the visitors will be visiting the Taj Mahal. Uh, Taj Mahal. So uh, I will be, will be dividing the time uh, into three uh, different zones, uh, the peak hours, the normal hours and the low hours. Uh, so uh, based on that, uh, like uh, during the peak hours, I'm assuming that uh, there will be four hours and the medium hours will be almost four hours and the uh, low hours will be approximately two hours. And okay, uh, now okay. what we can do is... Okay, um, so um, uh, what uh, what do you mean by peak hours? Can you define those hours to me? How do you define the peak hour? All right. Uh, so peak hours is uh, basically when uh, there will be a uh, maximum uh, number of people uh, visiting the Taj Mahal. Uh, like I was uh, just about to discuss the frequency. Uh, so during the peak hours, there will be 100% frequency and there will be maximum distribution of the tickets and okay. uh, selling of the tickets. And, and also, um, can you tell me the, num uh, the four peak hours? Like what exactly is the, uh, are the hours that you're considering in the time? Um, is it 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock? What is the time that you're considering that to be a peak hour? 
All right. So basically, what we can uh, do is, I, I think that uh, there will be uh, certain hours in the morning and certain hours uh, during the evening. Like for example, uh, you can take seven to nine in the morning and uh, around five to seven in the evening. So approximately, it will be around four hours in a day. Okay. Uh, so okay. No, man, I, I, I think we can go ahead. All right. So for the peak hours, I'm assuming that uh, there will be high frequency of 100%. And similarly, in the medium hours, uh, like I'm assuming the frequency to be a bit low, uh, to be around 60%. Uh, and uh, in the low hours, I'm assuming it to be around uh, 20%. So okay. should I move ahead with that? Um, yes, you can move ahead with this. All right. So after that, I would like to, you know, calculate uh, the uh, number of tickets sold in these categories. And for that, I have to assume that uh, during what time will be a typical uh, ticket sold. So I'm assuming that during the peak hours of maximum capacity, every ticket counter will be selling uh, a normal ticket uh, every six seconds. Okay. Right? Okay. And... Uh, then after that we can assume that uh like uh, during uh, one minute uh like uh, this is the uh two successive tickets purchased uh, during the peak hours mm -hmm. uh, during the six seconds and uh, so for the per minute we can calculate uh the 10 tickets uh okay. there will be 10 tickets sold and similarly for per hour we can calculate it to be like 16 to 10 uh that comes approximately uh, 600. okay so, that will be the number of tickets sold during the peak hours uh, per hour. Okay. And after that, we can assume that uh, there will be multiple ticket counters. So I'm assuming the ticket counters to be around uh, like six to seven. Uh, so uh, do you think that I, I can take this many uh, ticket counters? Um, no, um, no, no, man. Um, I don't think that, you know, uh, the tickets counter would be so much. Uh, um, I would say that according to my observation, uh, two to three ticket counters are, you know, available at each and every of these monuments. But for the safer side, you can go ahead with the number four. Let's go with four. Four number right. ticket counters. So that is fine. Uh, so taking four ticket counters, uh, I can calculate the maximum ticket sold per hour and calculating that it uh, simply comes out to be 24 600 okay. into 4 uh, so that will be the maximum ticket sold per hour so we can now calculate similarly for uh, like peak hours medium hours and low hours so mm -hmm. the formula for that will be the maximum ticket sold per hour uh, into the total number of hours that is present in different categories mm -hmm. and into the percentage capacity like mm -hmm. for example for peak hours the percentage capacity is 100%. So we'll uh, simply uh, uh, like multiply with one. And But for the medium capacity, the percentage capa uh, capacity is like uh, uh, 60%. So that will be a, a different calculation for that. Okay, sure. You can so, you know, calculate and then we can move ahead. All right. So I just need a minute to calculate that. So for the high frequency, uh, we have taken like the maximum ticket sold uh, uh, per hour for all the counters is 2400, right? Exactly. Uh, so we can uh, simply multiply uh, multiply it by four uh, mm -hmm. to calculate for all the peak hours. Mm -hmm. uh, so calculating that, the value comes out to be uh, 9600 for this category. Perfect. And uh, uh, similarly for the medium hours, uh, we can, uh, you know, uh, like maximum ticket sold 2400 uh, into the four hours of medium hours and then the capacity will be 60%. So okay. we can multiply it by 0 0.6. Okay. So calculating that. So the value comes out to be uh, 5,760 uh, tickets sold during the medium hours. Okay. And similarly for the uh, low hours, uh, so the total, uh, the calculation will be 2,400 into uh, two low hours and uh, into 0 0.2 because of the low frequency uh, of the low hours. Uh, so the value comes out to be Uh, 
uh, there will be 960 tickets uh, sold during the low hours. Uh, okay. So uh, these are the number of tickets sold in the different categories. And we can simply uh, sum it up to uh, calculate the total number of tickets sold uh, okay. during the uh, during a single day uh, of uh, uh, normal weekend okay. or week. Yeah. So the total number of uh, tickets is coming out to be uh, 16,320. Uh, uh, so that is the total number of tickets sold, which will be equal to the number of people visiting the Taj Mahal uh, any, any particular day. Okay, so that um, is my so, answer. So uh, is this your final answer? And um, if um, do you want to change anything at this point or is this your final answer? Uh, no, this is my final answer at this point of time. So I have considered uh, like a normal day. So if it is a, a weekend or there is any other condition to that, so this number will uh, change a bit. So according to me, this is okay. The okay, Naman. Um, thank you for solving this uh, guesstimate problem for us. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I, I now have, uh, you know, uh, a sort of discussion uh, type of question for you. Um, so, uh, what according to you, you know, um, you are saying that, you know, let's say 16,000 people, according to your estimate, are visiting Taj Mahal each and every day. So, uh, do you think that as a perspective that it is included in one of the seven wonders of the world? So, is this number fair enough? Or, you know, um, if this number is low, what, you know, approaches can you follow to uh, increase this number? Or, let's say, what, what can be done if this is a low number in your perspective? All right. Uh, I think uh, depending upon the space uh, the monument have and uh, the number of people that visit that particular area of Agra. So I think uh, this number is okay with respect to that. Uh, but if you look at the seven uh, wonders of uh, uh, like the world, uh, so based on that, uh, this number can definitely increase uh, because what I personally think is that uh, since it is a very famous monument, so there is not a lot of marketing that is done in this respect. So if we, uh, if the government think in that, uh, that perspective, so obviously a lot of uh, other people can also come uh, visiting the Taj Mahal because I think uh, generally the foreign, foreigners or the people coming from different countries uh, are more excited to visit uh, the monument. Uh, but the people that are, uh, you know, in our country specifically, and uh, the population is huge. Um, but uh, they don't look that forward to uh, visiting uh, our own monuments. So that okay. is one point of view that uh, I have. So um, so what do you think that, you know, uh, let's say that you're saying that government should initialize some schemes or, you know, promote the uh, visiting of Taj Mahal. So who do you think mm -hmm. is the is a better up audience to approach? The foreigners or the people in our own country? Uh, I think uh, like uh, both the people because uh, it is good to have foreigners because, uh, you know, whenever the foreigners will uh, come, so obviously different companies will also emerge in that particular area and there will be a lot of uh, investment done with respect to the infrastructure. So that is good to have. And secondly, are uh, because not like not all time during all the times, like during the COVID situation, not many foreigners will come. Uh, so we can also market in in a way that the people of India also visit from different states and visit the monument because only the people living in the Delhi or nearby uh, areas only visit the monument. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, that is wonderful to hear this um, aspect or, you know, the, the site, of, site of yours on this regard. So I think mm -hmm. uh, we can wrap up the session. Thank you very much for uh, attending and solving this guesstimate problem for us. All right. Thank you, Arjit. And it was great discussing it with you. Yeah.